There you are. Good morning and welcome to Zen Fits here in Blackstone, Virginia, uh, in Nottaway County, which is uh, called Southside. It's the south side of Virginia, uh, west of Richmond, uh, kind of like south of uh, the uh, uh, Charlottesville, Norton. It's 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 a uh, it's a tobacco country. It was it was the it was the uh, uh, home of uh, dark fire tobacco, uh, which is very in, in t labor intensive. So we had a lot of small tobacco farms uh, with, with the, I don't know why I'm getting into this, but the dark fire tobacco had to be picked by hand and dry. That's whenever you see the tobacco farming, there's usually that dark fire where they hang it up in the barns and dry it and uh, uh, it's very labor intensive and um, of course the tobacco is gone now but uh, anyway why did I get it? Nottaway County <laughs> title of this talk is the war of rights the war of rights now I was a, uh, a reporter feature writer for the local paper uh, from 1986 to 94 you probably you know before you all half you were born <laughs> And I covered the school board, and that was the most boring committee meeting you had to cover. It was basically about uh, 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 changing the, uh, the parking or something. You know, there was no <clears throat> dissension. There was no. There was there was no conflict. It was it was boring. School board, God knows, you know, and uh, they approved this or that. But now, the school board here is uh, uh, full of contention. It's full of the same contention and conflict, and and that's in the politics. In other words, the the nation has come to Nottaway County. Uh, the school, the supervisors, and the and the school board are fighting and yelling, and people and parents coming in, and citizens and outrage and. And uh, suing, and uh, su and and investigations, and and uh, condemnations. When I back in just just when I was writing here, you know, ninety four ten, ten years, you know, well twenty years ago. Okay, these meetings were boring. You know, they just handled local issues. Anyway, what happened? Well, we're in the war of rights, the war of rights. So let's look into that. Um, if you'll notice, uh, the 60s began the war of rights, and it started with the Vietnam War. You had the, it was your duty to go to war and fight for your country. You didn't question the country. You didn't think about it. You did it. It's your duty. It's your duty. My, your, my country, right or wrong, duty. But then there was an awakening of conscience in the 60s. What? The, the war is unjust. It's not a national threat. I don't want to go kill no Vietnam. I'm not going. I protest. Whoa split of rights, my right my right of individual conscience or the right to do my duty. Duty virtuous nature. Bam the cosmic age the cosmic age egg of America split. And Humpty Dumpty has not been put together since then. It just keeps morphing or the can the split can of duty virtuous nature or rights has just been kicked down the road and now it's come to local politics, local school boards. And of course, um, so if you get to the school board, uh, public education is falling apart. Uh, I have a friend of mine who's a, a psychologist in there and everybody said teachers are leaving and, and he said everybody's just putting in their time like it's in a prison waiting to get out, you know, because they don't want to give up their retirement. 
So they're just putting in time and just waiting for it to end. <laughs> Reminds me of the Navy when I was uh, uh, I was I, when I got out of the Navy after five years. Uh, my 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 sonar man. I was in the submarines. He patted the sonar and he said, uh, "Listen, listen, listen. You take care of this sonar gear, and the Navy will take care of you. And in twenty years, you can just retire, sit back, and pump gas and drink beer. Be on easy street." <laughs> But I noticed that everybody was after, you know, they, they had the short time or they had a little, if you're in the Navy and you were getting close to getting out, you see, uh, you have a short time, a little bathtub uh, uh, of beads, you know, and you would clip off a little bead uh, as your months went by. Or, you know, you're a short time or only have, you know, 12 more months to go or whatever, you know, it's like being in prison. So I chose to get out, you see. And so well, this instant, you know, so it's kind of like that. Everybody wants to get out now. And why is that? Well, the, the war of rights. Now, in the educational system, you have parent rights. It's kind of like at Congress, the Republican, particularly the Republican Congress. Uh, this war of rights is basically a, um, inflamed by the, the Republican mythos of individual rights are greater than the rights of the whole. See, there's a shift. In the 50s, the right of the culture, the right of the country, the right of the government, the right of the nation, the right of America was primary. And individuals got in line, pretty much. You didn't question. Uh, you, you, you know, you didn't rebel. But that seed of rebellion got started in the 50s, and maybe with, uh, uh, and it was, uh, uh, oh, Easterns, you know, Alan Watts and, and uh, uh, Jack Kerouac and, and uh, the Beatniks, you know, there was this little flame of rebellion. And in the 60s, it caught, it became a wildfire. And a whole generation rebelled and split. I ain't going to war. The man, and then so you had the 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 Dem it was all Democrats, Democrats, and Democratic convention fell apart uh, because of the 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 uh, um, frustration. And Nixon came in to restore order. But I, I'm a little I'm wandering a little bit here. But but the problem is. America has gone off the rails because of its worship of individual freedom. And this is the constant conflict in him. You know, what, what is the right of the whole society versus the right of the individual? So that's creeped down into education now. So a parent can, be, can, can uh, uh, bring the whole school board system to a halt. So it's the, the parents, it used to be in education, uh, parents were, you know, if the teacher says you to do this, you better do it. And the parent would support the teacher. Now it's the reverse. <laughs> now parents are in control. And of course, parents are divided politically. Parents are divided politically and religiously. But they're taking control, and that's destroying the system, you know. And so the same with uh, Congress, like right to now. You have on the edge of the debt ceiling, and the, and the Republican contra, con Congress who believes individual members have the right to upset the whole. So there's no will of the whole. There is the will of individuals, and the individuals are all divided. So everything comes to a standstill. So our worship of individual rights has morphed into a paralysis of will. Because now you have the rights of the gays versus the rights of the straights. You got the rights of the blacks again versus the rights of the whites. You got the rights of the atheists versus the rights of the religious. You got the rights of... Um, Workers versus the rights of employees. You got the, you know, every, every right that comes up, an opposite right, right comes up, and they are, they don't go like this. They don't go like that. 
They're like opposites. Paralysis. Can't choose. They're both right. <laughs> False equivalency. It's all over the place. You come up with one point of view and, the, and someone immediately says the opposite point of view. And it's right too. So you got two rights. The talking heads on cable. Well, if you, you could put uh, creative design as a right is true. Science, evolution is right. You put them up together and you, you get to choose, but you can't choose. <laughs> They're both right. You see, so we're caught in a war of rights because we've lost the whole. We've lost the context. We've lost, we, we've lost the, the one and become the many, and the many are divided into, whoops, the many are divided into two rights. So no matter what you do, you come up with an opposing right that cancels it. Everything cancels each other out. And this is madness. And it's driving America crazy. It's creating eruptions of insanity like mass shootings. You think there's a, we can't find a cause for mass shootings because we're it. <laughs> Mass shootings are, for me, are symptoms of a national disease, a national insanity. And so some members can't, some members of the, some cells of the body go cancerous. A mass shooting is a cancer. You can't find the cause of it because the whole, the body is causing it, you see. So the body of America is causing the uh, insanity that we're seeing. You know, because when you uh, when 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 rights are blocked, when you got opposite, when you got two, when you got when you got two equal rights and they each cancel each other out, if that happens in your mind, you go crazy because you can't choose, you can't get out of the way. So it goes wow 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 wow, panic attack, boom, or you kill somebody. You can't stand the the accelerating. Uh, tension of not being able to choose, of not being able to get out. And it goes like wah, wah, wah of a mic in an amplifier. It has to explode. It's called civil war in society. I mean, we did that back in the, you know, we had a civil war, but now, there's, now the civil war is psychological. It's not physical anymore. We don't have any blue in our, this is a reenactment. We don't have uh, you know, Confederates and Yankees, you know, marching in the streets, you know, and the states lining up with battlefields and cannons, you know. It's not that. that everybody's shopping at Walmart. It's all one. When you go shopping, when you go out in town, it's all one. You know, everybody's fine. But in the mind, in the psychological, in the head, it's like, you see. So this is a neurosis. You go to, you get put in a psychological, in a psych ward. <laughs> or medicated or something because it, it can't be tolerated and yet here we are you see the war of rights I'm right no I'm right it's on Facebook my opinion's right you know yours is wrong but I let you oh I, you have the right to be wrong but I'm right anyway <laughs> so this is this is a I would say this is a Zen moment for America. Zen, the practice of Zen, the real practice of Zen, induces the state where nothing you do is any good, where the mind, where the thinking mind, the choosing mind, the wow, 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 wow mind is paralyzed. And when that happens in Zen, that's a moment of awakening. The whole awakens out of the paralysis of the parts of the mind. When the mind is divided into right and left and they can't come to a thing, it, it can't be sustained. So it comes to a wah, 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 pew, liberation. A new whole is created. I am is, crea is discovered. You know, I am is discovered when I am this and I am that uh, are fighting. What? Who are you? You know. In other words, the the 
the this it's called it's called the self or the soul or or the awakened mind or uh, whatever you want to call it it's just a word but the 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 awakening comes the new whole the new world the brave new world comes out of a civil war of the mind now looking really looking at a broad branch you know we had a civil war physical civil war but we never did create a new america what we created was a uh, was the was the same war only in the mind rather than in the states but it's but it's moving back into that now we're the America's dividing up into blue and red again. The whole, you know, America is wounded. America has a contradiction in its foundation that makes it the most creative culture in the world and also the most violent. Creativity and violence, they go together in America because creativity or violence is the result of this fundamental contradiction. If it's in the, the, the mind of the collective of the, of the society or in you, this contradiction of two rights. Should I do this or should I do that? You say, well, both are right. What should I do? I can't do anything. Wow, 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 wow. Pew. Anyway, the war of rights. Whenever any, whenever there's a new right, an opposite right arises. The, now today it's the rights of the trans, and then it was the rights of the straights. You see, rights of gay marriage and rights. Every every new right creates its opposite right. Where are all these rights coming from? <laughs> They're coming out of the contradiction. They're coming out of the contradiction. The fault. The American fault. California lives on it. It's called the San, San Andreas Fault. They're all expecting the big one. You know, got a little tremor. Oh, oh, the big one's coming. Well, America is on the San Andreas Fault. Tremors everywhere. Tremors, 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 tremors. Some say, bring it on. Let's have a, let's have a race war. Let's blow it up. Charles Manson, we're going to blow it up. Start over. Can't stand it. Can't stand living on a fault line. That's America. The Saint, Saint American Fault. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Wasn't too optimistic, was it? 